Hi guys, man Noska checking in. Just a quick one with regards to that last video I posted of Oscar and the Hoover. Turns out that uh, not long after I uploaded that video, Oscar had reported me to the police with regards to it because of him and the Hoover. And he reported me for harassment, alarm and distress. As a direct result, I am now wearing some new jewellery around my ankle. Yes, I have been tagged. Not all that story is true, but um, it wasn't Oscar who reported me. Obviously, it was a speed camera van operator. Um, I'd done a video on him a while ago, October last year. And then about two weeks later, I'd seen another speed camera van and I went and did another video. And it turns out it was the same chap. And as a result, the police were called and they decided they were going to do me for obstruction. So I refused to give me details over, that led to my arrest and they took me away, got me details and said that I was going to be going to court for obstruction. If you remember a couple of months ago I posted a video of a copper coming to my door in retaliation to a speed camera van. That was the incident I was, incident I was talking about. He asked us to come for a voluntary interview, of which I declined, you can see in that video. And uh, yeah, this court case that I've just been through is the one that it was with regards to. So, um, yeah, speed camera van operator reported us. Turns out when I got the letter, it was actually down for that they changed it from obstruction to harassment because it was the second time that I'd videoed him. Again, some people think it's three times for harassment. It's not, it's only twice. So they'd uh, gone, they decided they want to get us on that. Um, in court, it's a case of they actually had me on video on all the occasions, so I couldn't say, oh, it wasn't me, etc, etc, because it had the date and the times, and there was me videoing him. So, yeah, the guy sort of, like, stirred it up, as you'd expect, and um, he was saying that he's been anxious about going to work, he won't come to this area anymore because he fears about me going out and taking more videos of him. Um, he's distressed, his blood pressure's through the roof, his life will never be the same again, etc, etc, laying it on to the judge. And uh, as a direct result, I got a £180 fine and this lovely curfew tag for eight weeks, which means I've got to be in at seven o'clock at night and cannot go out again until seven o'clock in the morning. So that'll be no more late night audits for me. I'll just have to do some that are within, you know, three or four hours drive, rather than the long ones I've been doing this summer. Um, I also got a restraining order against him, and get this, a uh, police speed camera van vehicles. So I've got a restraining order against vehicles, believe it or not. So there you go, who'd have thought it, eh? A restraining order against vehicles. I'm not allowed within 200 yards of a safety, safety as they call it, speed camera van. Um, obviously my solicitor said well what about if he's driving past one and they said well that's obviously excluded I said to the judge don't worry if I see one I will drive past it as fast as I can laugh out loud but uh, yeah he never even cracked a smile they are really without sense of humour these lot aren't they so yeah anyway the only thing it's going to do really is affect me is Basically, I can't take the dog out when I normally take him out of a night time at 10 o'clock. I just have to take him out at half six instead. I've had to change a couple of dates where I was having days away, overnighters and stuff. So I've rescheduled them for July. Um, other than that, yeah, it's not really much of a difference to what I'd normally be doing. I don't really go out much to the pubs and stuff. My friends are just going to come round here. Um, as opposed to me going round there on the odd occasion. So... I, I shall leave you a link to the newspaper article in the description, so check that out and that'll uh, tell you more about it in a bit more detail. Um, would you believe it, after what they were saying, the judge was saying, oh, he's, you know, being traumatised and this, that and the other, and, you know, I, I said, yeah, fair enough, it's like, I'll not do it again, etc, etc. The newspaper guy that was reporting on it, that was there in court, got in touch with me about two hours after I'd got home and he said, oh, is there any chance we can have some of the videos that you took of him? 
which I thought was a bit cheeky. So he's just been declared that he's having such a hard time, this fella, and he's, his life's been turned upside down. And the newspaper guy wants the videos that I took so we can post them to show all the, the public, which is pretty crackers when you think about it. It'll do anything for a story, no matter what it uh, entails. So, anyways, I'm going to be doing some more audits, like I say, but just local ones. Um, I've got one to post at the weekend. It's from Wallasey and the Wirral near Liverpool. If you have a look, I'll, in fact, I'll put you a link to it. Marty Blackborough did a um, video of it about a week ago. He got some interesting results there from it. And uh, I got similarly interesting results. It was an absolutely cracking video. Some mad stuff happening on it. Um, so I will post that at the weekend and compare it with Marty's video. Bear in mind that I did my video first, although Marty posted his before mine. So mine was about two weeks before Marty's video. So just check them both out and sort of you'll find some familiar faces on both videos. So anyway, it was a it was a good old knees up when I went down there to Wallace. I'll get that posted soon. So anyway, I uh, hope you like me uh, Blackbird bracelet, as I've uh, nicknamed it, and um, I will see you at the weekend with an audit. Take care guys.